Hello, my name is Rebecca Recco, and I'm an art teacher at Montero Middle School. Go Toros! And I'm also a member of the Dia de los Muertos Committee at the Oakland Museum of California. Um, this year, we're having our celebration virtually, and I would like to invite you into my virtual classroom to learn how to make papel picado. Um, papel picado is something that is ubiquitous at all of the Dia de los Muertos celebrations. Um, it represents the element of air uh, because it blows in the breeze and it also kind of creates just a nice festive look for your celebration at home. So let's get started. First you start with a rectangle of tissue paper. My tissue paper is about eight inches by 11 and three fourths inches. This is a pretty good size. I'm gonna start by folding the paper in half three times. Don't worry about creasing the paper, the folds will fall out or you can gently iron the paper to get it flat again. This is necessary for creating the designs and for giving them the symmetry that is trademark of traditional papel picado patterns. Start by making a few small cuts to the bottom of the strip, right here. This gives the design a scalloped edge and a traditional look. So I'm going to start by cutting a little curve here and another curve on this side. All right, so when you open up the paper, now you're gonna have a repeated scalloped pattern across the bottom. The design I'm making today is a two marigold design, which sounds really complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. I'm gonna show you how I do it, but you can experiment with your own folding and cutting patterns. So I'm gonna fold the paper in half again, using the same folds I made before. I'm gonna fold it one more time. I'm gonna fold the paper once more, all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna line it up with the bottom of the scalloped patterns. Whoops, make sure it lines up. You want it to be as neat and accurate as possible. Then I'm gonna create a diagonal fold right here. So I'm gonna fold this this side right here to meet this side right here. Kind of like making paper snowflakes or um, paper airplanes, just a diagonal fold. Okay, so to start my design, I'm gonna start by cutting out a curve right here to create a central petal. So I'm gonna cut out a curve very carefully. Make sure that when you're using scissors around your fingers, you are really, really careful. Okay. Sometimes cutting at the very, right here, you get a little bit more leverage um, at the end of the scissors, and that makes it a little bit easier, but it's also, just make sure your fingers aren't in the way. Okay. So I made my central petal. Now I'm gonna start making half crescent cuts on the sides. So very carefully, I'm gonna cut a half crescent here. Again, watch your fingers. I'm being very mindful about where my fingers go when I'm cutting. Every time. You do not wanna cut yourself while you're working on this. You might be wondering why I was specific about making a marigold pattern. Marigolds are a symbol of Dia de los Muertos because of the orange color and their scent is supposed to travel to our ancestors um, and kind of guide them back to our altars and a friend us. Plus they're just really pretty. The bright color is cheerful and festive, and everybody loves marigolds. Okay, 
So I'm going to stop once I get this next cut in because I don't want to go into the scalloped pattern on the edges. And I also want to leave room for the string to hold the banners up. Okay, so once I open up this design, I'm going to have a two marigold pattern. <laughs> So we have symmetry because the patterns are repeated, but we also have radial symmetry because each pattern has elements that are spread out in a circle. Now I'm going to fold the top down just a little bit. You don't need to use very much. Just a little bit to make a place for the string. Be super careful because the paper is very fragile right now. the paper stay on the string and the paper is not heavy so you don't need very much. Be very careful because you can even tear the paper just by getting glue on your fingers and touching the paper. Super delicate. There we go. Ta-da! So now I have one Papel Picado on my banner and I can get other pieces of paper with different colors and mix up my designs and experiment. And here's the cool thing about Pepel Picado, if you make a mistake, it's just paper. So you've learned something, take what you've learned and move on and try a different design. I hope that you and your family have a wonderful Dia de los Muertos celebration and that you stay well and healthy and that we see each other next year at the celebration in person. Hasta luego.